We created iWire so that anyone, anywhere in the world, can participate in neuroscience research. I think that's kind of a revolutionary concept. Much of our difficulty in understanding the brain has come because we're unable to see the basic structure of what the brain is like. In order to look at the structures of neurons, we have to analyze images, a lot of images. Those images can't be analyzed completely automatically by computers. We actually need human intelligence. Humans are smarter than computers at many things, including seeing things. So we need help. There's no way that my lab or a few scientists could do it all. And that's where the public comes in. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, where's the axon in this cell? Um, it currently takes us about 50 hours to map one cell. And that's one neuron. And there are 85 billion in one human brain. So we built a game out of the task. It's like coloring in 3D. You're starting with a little segment, a little branch of one neuron, and your task is to find the other half of it, to exit the rest of the cube, to extend the branch, and to discover the overall 3D shape of that cell, which is kind of a fun task if you do it with a group of people. It's becoming a brain scientist. I think that's a bit above my league, but I feel like I'm actually doing something positive, you know, not just wasting time playing a game. You know, we're all here for pretty much the same purpose, it's to contribute to science. So, I mean, that's why I continue to play, because every time I trace a cube, as it's called, you know, it's physical, actual data that they use. It's not really a competition. It's probably the friendliest online community I have seen. Doing things that labs don't typically do can be extremely rewarding when you're dealing with the general public. And we are constantly updating and telling people what we're doing. We host Google Hangouts. We, we post on Facebook and Reddit and all these, you know, sort of fun things. In retrospect, we can see that these things work. But if you don't try, you never know which things do.